What's you guys got another video here for you on going back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. Quite a few people have asked me to do a video about after the 10 day period and how we can go back to Windows 11 without losing any data. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So first off, let's take a look at your options. Your first option is rolling back to Windows 10 from Windows 11 using the go back feature. This is in uh, settings system and then recovery, you'll see a go back feature inside there. If it's grayed out, don't worry, we'll cover all that in this video. But before we continue with this process, let's just have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check the links in the video description, click on those, and they will take you to the website where you can register an account and then buy your Windows 10 Pro OEM key. You can get 30% off and use my promo code capital B capital R 09. Apply this to your order, pay for your purchase, and then you will receive a legit key where you can activate your version of Windows. So let's hit the go back feature here if it's present on your system. If it's not, I'll cover that a little bit later after this. But first off, let's hit the go back to Windows 10 button. You'll get the why you going back. You can choose what option you like here, or you can tell them more if you wish. Once you put a check mark in one of these options, you can then basically click on the next button. But you do need to give them a reason why you're going back. So whatever reason that is, you can put it there. So put the check mark in one of these options and then click on next. This will say check for updates before you go back. Try installing the latest updates, which might fix the problems that you're having. This is to try and coax you into staying with Windows 11. Then you've got what you need to know. So this might take a while, but you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. This does take quite a long process, but this is really important. After going back, you will have to reinstall some applications and programs. Also, it says you'll lose any changes made to the settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. So any settings you made will be reset as well. Are your files backed up? It says this shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. So in other words, back up your data before you do the rollback feature. So you are going to lose your applications and programs, and this can cause a bit of concern for some people. What is it rolling back from? It's rolling back from the windows.old folder inside your C root directory. Unfortunately, a lot of people will erase this folder by using cleanup software like CCleaner, like the cleanup tool built in Windows, and a bunch of other software out there like Bleachbit and other things like that, which will automatically remove any sort of junk files which it classes as junk files. So be prepared that you are going to have to uh, jump through a bunch of hoops once we roll back. You're also going to need to know the password of the previous account if you set one up. If you don't, you're not going to be able to log back in and you will need to reset the password. So if you don't know the password of your Windows 10 account when you set it up, if there is one, then you're going to be locked out. So bear that in mind before you roll back. Once you're happy, you can click next and it will say thank you for trying Windows 11 and you can then click on the go back to Windows 10. This does take a fair bit of time, so be patient. And I will show you the process, but not using this method. Now, the one that really sort of uh, stumps people is when the go back feature is grayed out. And this is what we're going to be talking about next. A lot of people still want to roll back to Windows 10. I'd always advise you to make sure you've got all of the latest updates before you do any rollback process, because this can really mess up the rollback process. So always update fully before you even attempt a rollback. On your system. Always back up your data. Don't trust Microsoft to keep it safe. It's your responsibility to make sure you back up all your data. If you have used uh, cleanup tools like disk cleanup, like I've already mentioned, you can run the risk of deleting the windows.old folder and this will basically erase any chance you have of rolling back using the go back method. You will then need to do a what we call a clean install or fresh install of Windows 10 if you want to go back. And of course, Microsoft don't make it any easier for you because basically they only give you 10 days to roll back. So by default, any sort of uh, rollback period will have to be done within 10 days or you need to extend that rollback period, which I've made videos on before. 
So if you have cleaned your uh, rollback feature here, which is going to be your previous installation, it's going to warn you that if you're running the disk cleanup, it'll say if you clean up the previous Windows installations or temporary installation files, you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to a previous version of Windows. Are you sure you want to do this? So if you've cleaned all this area out before, your chances of rolling back are zero and you will need to do a clean install or fresh install of Windows 10 if you want to go back to it. Now, of course, if you've got a backup of the system image of Windows 10, you can use that to roll back to Windows 10 using that method as well. And if you've got a clone of your drive and it was Windows 10, you can also use that to clone it back to Windows 10. If you've used any sort of cleanup tool, you'll see now the Windows.old folder has been removed from your system. Now, once you restart your computer, you can go back to the uh, settings pane here and then go back into system and recovery. And you will see that the go back feature has now been grayed out and you can't use this option to roll back your computer. This is the bit that really sort of stumps people. You can still install Windows 10, but you would need to use the fresh install process uh, to go back to Windows 10. You only have 10 days to go back anyway. And even if you did, there's a chance that all the programs you installed will be removed from your system. You can still go back to Windows 10 using the rollback method. I'll show you how to do it. You will need to back up your data first and you can use any of these free software to back up all of your data. It's important that you do this because it will be erased from the computer. So make sure you back up all your data first using one of those pieces of software. You can also use the built-in backup and restore program, which is built into Windows 11 or Windows 10. You can see it here. It's called Backup and Restore Windows 7. That's how long it's been around. You can go in here and set up a backup and back up your user profile and all your data from there if you want to, or back up your data using this method as well. It's free to do. Now you can see here, we don't have any other drives plugged in. So you will need to have an external drive plugged in, or you need to have another partition, or you would need to have a network attached storage device plugged into your computer so you can back up to that location as well. So to start the rollback process, what we're gonna do is get a Windows 10 ISO. Do a search for Windows 10 ISO and click on the Microsoft link that you find in your search results. Once you get to here, you're going to have to go down to where it says create Windows 10 installation media. Download this tool and run it on your computer. Once this starts to get a few things ready, it's going to open up the program and start to allow you to update the PC. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, we're downloading the Windows 10 media creation tool here, which means it is geared up for Windows 10. We're on a Windows 11 system, so we're trying to update to Windows 10 click accept their terms and conditions here. It's going to get a few things ready and then it's going to allow us to start the upgrade or update process to Windows 10. So let's go ahead and set this off. It does take a fair bit of time doing it this way, but if you've got all your data backed up, you have nothing to worry about. The only thing that you're going to lose here is your programs, but you would have probably lose those programs anyway using the go back method. You should now see a radio button in upgrade this PC now. So we're going to leave that in this section here. And then what we're going to do is go down to the next button and click next. This will say getting a few things ready again. And basically it's going to start downloading the Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft. This will be the latest version uh, for Windows 10. I'll speed this process up. It may close down and open again. It's going to check for some updates. Once it's done all its checks, it's then going to allow us to install Windows 10 on this system. So you can see here, restarting Windows 10 setup. The updates are installed, but Windows 10 uh, setup needs to restart. So it's going to restart your computer. So it's just going to check our PC to make sure everything is OK. And then what it will do is it will start the installation process. So now we're going to get the, again, the license terms. So accept these. And what we can do here next is choose what we want to keep. So you can see here now the areas for keep your personal files and apps is grayed out and you keep your personal files only is grayed out. We have to literally click nothing 
and it's going to basically erase and delete everything on our computer. We can't keep anything because basically that period has gone past now. But we have our data backed up, so all we need to do here is get some updates. It's going to check for some free space, and then it's ready to install. It's warning you that you're going to install Windows 10 on your system, and you're keeping nothing. So remember, all your data will be removed from the PC. So have them backed up. It's too late. You're going to lose that data. So you can see here now the reinstall process has started. It will go through a bunch of uh, things here. So be patient and let it go through. Now, another question that comes up is, will my Windows 10 be activated when I go back? And the short answer to that is yes, if your Windows 10 was activated when you upgraded to Windows 11 and you was using an activated version of Windows 11. When you go back, the Windows 10 will be activated also. So even if you did a fresh install, it will be activated with your key. So don't worry about that. Once you get to this stage, you can set up your Windows how you like by choosing a bunch of different options. I normally click no for all of this stuff. And I normally skip all of this nonsense here as well, because basically a lot of this is telemetry data collecting sort of information that they want to collect. And again, Cortana, I'm not interested in. So I say no here. And again, once we've done all of these selections, we will get things ready again. And you will be back at the desktop of your Windows 10 operating system. So a bit of a palaver. But basically, that's what you're going to have to do. Hopefully, you've backed all your data up and you will have all your data, which you can then install back onto the system. Sadly, all your programs will be gone if you use the after the 10 day period rollback process. You're not going to be able to do that. But other than that, you should be back on Windows 10 with an activated version. And you can then go ahead and get your uh, data back onto the system. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give it a thumbs up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope to see you on the Discord server. If you do, then don't forget, if you've joined my YouTube members group, let me know and I'll give you the correct role. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.